What's up, guys? Welcome back to another podcast, man. I'm excited. I got a special guest here today. Um, listen, I'm gonna let her listen. I met her at this event, uh, Melanie Mines, and um, and I'm gonna tell you something. Her food was good, and I'm not I'm not really big on being vegan, but the food was good. Welcome to the podcast. Tell the tell the people a little bit about you, what you do, why you do it, your name, so my audience can know. Okay, so my name is Teresa Parker. I am the founder of the Vegan Palette, which you can see by my T-shirt. Come on, oh, I make (laughs) make fruit and veggies. Okay, your palette. Yes, yes. So, um, wanted to really wasn't looking to get into business. Mm. So, started off. A friend of mine was doing vegan ice cream. Okay, and I started like showing pictures because during COVID, I decided that I was going to take on a more plant based (laughs) diet. Um. And he was like, I can't taste your uh, your pictures. Come on. So Come on. took a couple of samples. We started bartering. I take real food. I got vegan ice cream. <laughs> Stomach wasn't toe up. So, you know, it was a win-win. For yes. Me. Win-win for him. And uh, eventually um, he started working with a sushi guy. So then I started bartering with him. So I took mm. something else and I didn't have to eat my leftovers. So Come on. Know, then they had, um, I come back with vegan sushi and ice cream, and they kept after me. When are you getting started? When are you getting started? And I was like, I don't have everything I need. Oh, man. I ain't ready. I don't even know if this is what I want to do. Mm. Until I was um, at one of the events they were popped up at. And gotcha. uh, um, young Hispanic girl, haven't seen her since that day. Come on. She had a card table. No tablecloth, <laughs> Tupperware, and she was selling raw tacos. So I took Ooh. that as the sign for me to go ahead and get started. Yes, I felt like no shade to her, I could do better. Do a and that's better okay. presentation. Yes, and I booked my first two events that day with no business anything. <laughs> Off pictures again. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got which is which is which is cool. And I tell people all the time, like people need to know your story. Mm-hmm. Like once they understand your story, like where you going and how you've been there and the things you've been through, it really helps and motivate people. So let me share this. Okay, go ahead. Story. The reason that I was transitioning is because I'm going into a new decade. Okay, okay. One one is my my special day, <laughs> and um, I don't want to be a seasoned pill popper. Mm. You know, um, we can leave. I'm not trying to do it. I'm not trying to put that burden on anybody else to sell my on. box of Skittles. Mm. Um, meaning all those colorful pills that everybody <laughs> takes. Yes, I want no parts of them. Not saying that you know something can't happen um, due to something I may have done before Come or on. whatever. But whatever I can do to um, stop that. Mm. And what I can say so far is. I don't take allergy pills on a regular basis at all anymore because I found what I found out was once I dropped dairy and meat products, I didn't have that mucus building up. Oh, that's good. So those are some pills that I've already avoided. So this is the thing about vegan because I tried it and it's hard for me. And I think it's it's my mess mindset. Mm -hmm. And, And not only is the mindset, I need to find the food that works for me. Correct. Because I'm... The, whenever we had the, the, those taste samples, I'm like, man, it's it's pretty good though. But I'm it's hard, I guess, because you know you've been used to going to the store so much and buying the same thing over and over and over. It's like, how do you, you know, break that mindset to get the right food? So one option that I have is I do meal prep. Okay. The second option that I have, which I really wish that everybody would take advantage of, so then I didn't have to cook meal prep anymore. Come on. I have a farmer's market experience. Mm. You meet me at the farmer's market okay. on a Saturday morning. Okay. 8 to 8.30, between 8 and 8.30. We shop together. I introduce you to the vendors that you need to know. I like that. We're going to find out about some different fruits and vegetables that you mm. may not have tried. We uh, get you a box of vegetables and fruits to work with. Come that's on. included. Then we go around the corner to the spice shop where I use the one at Central Market um, so far. Okay. And they have bulk spices. Mm. So we get small amounts. And by smelling and knowing what you like, it's paired to your palate, not to my palate. I like that. So the taste that you like. So if you're a smoky chipotle person or if you're a spicy person Mm. or lemon pepper person or stuff like that, we can find some of those spices pair it to your palate and get that done. And then we go to your spot or wherever you want to cook it. Mm. And we do four to five dishes together. 
Ooh. So you have that guy. So what's that day look like? Like, give me a price range. So, so it's, hang out with you for a day to make that happen. Two twenty. That's not bad. And you get vegetables and spices too. So, mm, um, I me, mean, my wife might have to. We might have to take you up on that offer, man. <laughs> it's not bad. Two twenty to hang out. So let me ask you a question. Do you have uh, any videos about this? Because I think this would be a good selling point. Like, hey guys. I don't know if you if you know, but hang out with me for a day, and um, let's um, my prices like packages on this. I have some reels of the first person that did it with me, mm, um, okay. her experience, and you'll see it's me instructing. Okay, I'm, I'm hands on to tell you what to do because when you. I'm not there, I want you to already be yes. getting hands on. Like we did a kale salad together. Okay, she did the chopping. Mm. She did the mixing. She did the massaging of the kale. That's we good. She did the uh, uh, spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. She did the of it. She cleaned the uh, seeds out. Uh, you'll see her seasoning it. And she ate half of it before we even got a chance to make the sauce oh, for wow. it. So wow. um, we did like the fried oyster mushrooms, which is a replacement for the chicken. Mm. Um so just going through the different stuff, there is a small survey that you have to do before we hang out. Of course. I need to know what you like. No, what you like. But first of all, I need to know what's in your kitchen. Mm. So I don't want to get into you got one family <laughs> dollar Teflon skillet and yes. no seasonings, no uh, appliances or anything else. So we'll know yes. what we're working with. So um I'll still work with you, but we got to figure something out. Well, do I need to bring equipment? It may, okay, you know, that may increase the price. Well, that's crazy, okay. though. That's crazy that people don't have to, I guess people don't have the right cookware. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some Because people... they don't cook. They most oh, people okay. Are, you know, they eat on the run. Yeah. Or if they do cook, they got um, two to three go-to dishes. Like, um, And I think we, me and my wife, we like the total opposite because... Man, we got every dish in the big bowl because my wife be cooking. She be trying to moderate the cooking, you okay. know. Yeah. Um, Those one, are the kitchens I love. Yes, we just so we got all kinds of stuff. So this is the this is the thing though is I try to tell people like I was on I was on uh, high blood pressure pills, mm -hmm. but I started drinking this tea every night. Okay, it's this special tea, um, and it's crazy because I got it off of TikTok. My wife got it off of TikTok. You know, it's like cinnamon. Um, it's a lot of different stuff that you put in there and you drink it. But I think it's so powerful, though, that when we change our eating habits, we live longer. We feel better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, our body not breaking down quicker. Even though even though we all getting old. We, everybody going to get old. So, But you still have a better chance when you probably could have lived to 85, but you died at 59. Or the fact that you can chase the grandkids around or the kids mm, around. Those things. That you like, oh, y'all go on outside and play. <laughs> and see you when you get back in or, or yes. you're huffing and puffing. Or it improves your sleep. Like mm -hmm. a lot of folks have put on so much weight that they snore so loud because, wow. you know, it sounds like a family of bears and it's mm -hmm. one person in the room. Mm -hmm. Or another thing, I know that we as a culture... We don't like to talk about it, but we love watermelon. That's true. But we need to quit adding salt <laughs> to the watermelon because watermelon is one of those things that helps with you vascular, you know, with yes. your vascular system. It opens up, it keeps yes. your blood flowing and those type of things with the high blood pressure, with the um, ED and all these other things. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that really helps your system mm. clear. So what about the people that feel like, okay, now, I want to have a question. The how important do should people do when how important or how often should people do seven day detox? Or is that is it a thing if you if it's not a thing if you're doing vegan? I'm asking you. I'm just asking. Okay. <laughs> or a three day detox. This is my thing about Okay, go ahead. Detox. <laughs> if you're doing the detox, okay. I don't care how many days you're doing it. Okay. But you're only doing it to go back to your bad habits. Oh. That's don't true. do the detox. That's true. That's true. What are you doing a detox for? Because you gave That's your true. body seven days break and then 
<laughs> okay, now I'm going to put all this garbage back in. So you're just literally like you're doing the, the trash can in the um, kitchen. You. So you go on the seven day vacation. Mm. So nobody's putting trash in the That's trash true. can. That's true. And then you come back from vacation and you start loading the trash in the trash can. Mm. That's a good, that's a, that's, that's a great analogy though. Because I think a lot of times people tend to forget like, oh, I'm going to eat healthy. Oh, I'm going to do, I'm, like people try to eat for trips. Like I know I'm going on vacation in, in two months. So let me, you know, get it right. We having a podcast gala coming up. So you people, I need to give me, I got 30 days. Hey, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you know how it is. That's, how, that's, that's the mindset that we carry though, as, as black people. And it's like, we've been so conditioned because back in the day, they used to do a lot of dump cooking. So that dump cooking is like, you're not even measuring your food. You just, uh-huh. Yeah. Let me taste it. Oh, a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? That was a little that. bit more. It was a whole lot more. Don't, 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 don't start with them lies. Yeah. It was a whole lot more. So I think people, people, we've been conditioned and it's, that's, that's something hard to break though. So let me talk to you about this. So okay. I was sitting, it's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> I sit on the porch of Urban Social. Okay. I listen to the goldfish stories mm. that turn into whale tales. Okay. But a couple of days ago I was sitting there and whole circle of folks they were eating um chicken and fried rice from okay la crawfish okay so um one of the guys said swore up and down to me that he was plant-based now and then i was like he was like i just fell off just this one time <laughs> just chicken or whatever <laughs> so everybody in the circle knows that i'm vegan okay so one of the girls like i don't think it was a dig at me i just felt like she felt like she needed to make this psa mm. and was like people be getting on my nerves talking about they don't eat pork and they don't eat this this is what we was raised on we fine blah blah, Dang. blah. but then there's always the reference to soul food that they sat around and ate the same food that killed Big Mama. Like, mm. I want to keep all my legs, my arms, Me my too. toes. I don't want that dark mark that people tend to get <laughs> that's a sign of diabetes on my face. Man. I don't want, like, I know this may sound selfish or whatever, but um, I don't want to date anybody that's has high blood pressure, especially mm -hmm. if they're not doing anything but taking pills and still eating. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. Uh, diabetes mm -hmm. or gout. Mm. Definitely not gout. I dated <laughs> one guy with gout and it's too much. It's too much. So those are my those are my big three. Yeah, so I mean so this is the thing though. So when did you start your business? How long ago? Um it'll be two years old on December twenty third. Okay, so Give us some principles that you have learned in the last two years that has helped your business, that can help the next person. <laughs> some do's and some don'ts. <laughs> um, get paid up front. Oh, come on. Talk about it. Get paid up front. Let's go. Because um, our people don't know how to do that, but that's another, another story. <laughs> I got burnt once. Okay. So uh, get paid up front. Okay. Um, I am actually thinking about implementing a consultation fee. I like that. I like that. That's good. Um, if you're to, thinking about it, do it. Due to Saturday, quick analogy, got a call, referral for a birthday party. Birthday okay. party is less than 24 hours. So it's mm. Sunday. This is Saturday at quarter mm -hmm. to two. Birthday party, Sunday at okay. two o'clock. So um, lady needed at least to feed eight plant-based people. Okay. And you know, it, it's, it's in my heart that I want the plant-based Yeah, people. yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll do something weird and funky, <laughs> like giving them a veggie tray with yes. some ranch in the middle and be like, that's your your meal. So I, I, I try to look out for my fellow vegans and plant-based people. I got and you. I also give them something fresh. Okay. But um, I was like, give me, I was packing up from a festival, headed to go check out another market. I was like, give me 30 minutes Come to get on. to my destination. I'll send you over, quote, three options. Mm. One, two, three. At the bottom, big, bold letters. Delivery fee will be $30. Come on. She's in Sienna Plantation. <laughs> near Spring Branch. Like, I still think that was a deal. But, yeah. Um, we went on to have this conversation and was like, Okay, invoice went off because I did, I I stopped before I even went in. Oh yeah, and sat down mm -hmm. before I talked to anybody and typed up. I love invoice, it. Yes, made it all pretty in Canva. Of course, of and course. Send it over. 
okay, yeah, we're going to go on and pick option two. Okay, let's go on and get this invoice mm -hmm. over. Sent the invoice. Oh, well, uh, I got a question about one other, option one. Okay, we answer the question oh, about Lord, option one. Lord. And then we get to option two. <laughs> yeah, we still want option two. They going back and forth. Hey, do you want to go pick it up? No, she said she could deliver. We might as well just let her deliver it. Well, we're, oh, as the Lord. time is ticking, yes. you know, like time I still got to go to the grocery store. Yes. So she was like, well, um, no, yeah, we'll just pay. 20 minutes later. Here's the, mm. we're, we're going to pick it up from you. That was never an option. <laughs> it said delivery. So I yes. put in the address of where to meet me to pick the stuff up from because I have an event starting at one where yes. I have something that was already on my schedule. I got to be here on time. So uh, then here's the phone call. I mean, here's the text. Oh, well, could you take the delivery charge off so we could pick it up? Mm. I'm like, okay, cool. Here's here's where you'll be picking it up from. Oh, well, we'll just use you at another time. So I've wasted time from quarter to two to five thirty, and I've actually driven toward the grocery store that I need to go mm. to to be there to grab the stuff and to keep. And going. they and so they and they just like turn the service down. Just cancel. So this is the thing, though, and this is me, and my wife. We deal with a lot of customers, so we deal with like. People who create products, people who do reels, podcasters rent this room out. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of people. So what we have learned is, first of all, the consultation fee needs to be on your thing. And then the 24-hour fee. So it needs to be two fees that needs mm -hmm. to be up front. You know, um, I'm 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 straight direct with people when I deal with, with business. Mm -hmm. I tell people all the time, I always tell my wife, before I go into a negotiation, let me unscrew this, my heart. We'll put this over here. I'm finna go. Now I'm ready to go into this negotiation with no, I don't got no heart in me. I'm going straight to the business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just how it has to be. Yep. Because everybody wants to be an entrepreneur until it's time to pay this $2,000 bill. You know what I'm saying? So I try to tell people, be direct, upfront with people. And people, and, and this is my people, and I don't care. They know my audience. No, I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk my ish about my black people. We got to do better. Because we would easily pay another race on time, bigger prices, and show them more love and respect than we do each other. Yeah, because I asked her what was her budget. Oh, mm. there is no budget. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, now there's a budget and it's a conflict of a thirty dollars. That's what I'm store. saying. So that stuff, right? Oh, there. you didn't want to spend the thirty dollars worth of gas <laughs> to to come get it either. Mm. So. So somehow, it's so, I, and it's like it's some things that we all we learn in business. Now I, I try to tell my wife, I'm like, even with this podcast gala, she like, well, this person want a deal because they bringing a lot of people. I'm like, you moving with your heart. You can't move with, and guess what? She fixed the deal to give them like two hundred dollars off because they bring a lot of people. They still ain't paid. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. You you, you can't move with your heart. Just this is the price. It's only $97 for a gala. That's cheap. Mm -hmm. You getting food. You get It's a lot going on at this gala. And I'm like, you got to move without your heart in business. Now, I'm glad you brought up the gala thing. Come on. And okay. I'm glad that you brought up the events thing. So this is one thing that I struggle with personally and business-wise. Come on. Is going to events mm. and cannot eat. Yes. That's what I struggle with. I got you. So if I'm coming to your event, I've asked, hey, can you? And that's the lady. $20 I think... off. Because I, I, I bring my own food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to sit up there and not be able to eat. I got you. And I don't want um, a fruit cup. And one of the nastiest salads you can ever have <laughs> is a banquet salad. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. So, I mean, and this is this is my thing I try to really tell people. I'm like, everything is business with us. Mm -hmm. And whenever you run in your business, you got to be about your business. Yep. You know, and you got to know that you are the business. Mm -hmm. So when people meet me and my wife, they'd be like, like, we, we went to other events. And people be like, yeah, y'all guys should go to this studio over here. And this. We're like, we have our own studio. But do y'all have this? We have all that. <laughs> we have over $50,000 worth of equipment in here. We have everything we need to make the play that we run it every month. And we help a lot of other people. Yep. And so I think people need to try to figure out exactly what they need to do. So there's a word game that I like to play. 
Okay. I say two words. You tell me if you need them both or if you need one of them. Okay. Cockiness and confidence. Do you need one or you need both? I'm going to say both. Ooh, okay. Go ahead. Why you need both? Confidence. You just need confidence to navigate this life is life because mm. life, life and so. Okay, okay. Uh, calculus to navigate these entrepreneur sh- streets. Not mm-hmm. It may not be textbook calculus, but you maneuvering and you finding out what What's stuff going in the calculus on. structure. Yes. So. All right. So another word. Hunger or humbleness? Do you need both or one? Do you need to stay hungry or be hungry or do you need to have humbleness? Do you need both or you just need one of them? <laughs> That's a good one. Let me start this off. Am I the asshole if I say this? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say hunger to a certain extent. Okay. Because you don't need to be hungry for everything. I got you. And humble. I'm sick of being humble. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. This is my thing. If you him or you her, and people need to know. That's why I tell people all the time, like the this podcasting thing, I do this. Mm-hmm. I I don't this ain't this ain't something I play around with. I do it. Every week I'm dropping two or three podcasts. I do this. Yeah, this when people mention being humble, it feels like you're just pushing <laughs> yes. yourself down and shrinking yourself. Mm. And you can't stand tall in it. So, mm. uh, yeah. So, um, so not a fan. Motivation or money? Do you need both or you need one? <laughs> you need money to stay motivated. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, like during the down months or the stuff when stuff is slow, okay, it's hard to stay motivated when mm. the money's not flowing. So, let me ask you a question. So, the two years you know the down months, mm-hmm. okay. So, what is your? I like to ask business owners this: What is that uh, that extra thing you can add to to help your business? You know what I'm saying, like. I tell people all the time, we got three membership offers online and 16 regular offers online. Mm-hmm. So, and the reason why we have different offers because we never want to have a dry season. Because there's some people that just want to come in and do reels. There's some people that just want to come in and do podcasts. There's some people that just want to come in and use that vibe board. I got a guy coming at 1.30, he's used the vibe board to do his course. So, what have you thought about doing the slow season that you can pivot to so that that season won't be slow. Well, I've pivoted quite a bit. Okay, okay. <laughs> right now seems to be the slow season. Okay, okay. So I did add the farmer's market experience. I like that. I've added some swag. So yes, you can get one of these t-shirts. Okay, you got merch. Come on. I have merch. Okay. You can get a water bottle. Okay, merch. I have fruit and veggie products. Okay. That you can get. Um, I also do charcuterie boards. Okay, but okay. The thing that makes me different with the charcuterie boards is, tell me the five fruits that you find on the charcuterie board normally. Mm, uh, grapes, uh, cheese. It's always cheese on the charcuterie board. Well, the fruits. The, the fruits. Oh, um, uh, carrots, grapes. Um, don't let me lie, cause I ain't, I ain't did this. Okay. My wife do it all the time okay, with her so friends. I'm not. It is. It's the, the strawberries, cantaloupes. Okay. Honeydew melons, grapes, pineapples. Okay. Because there's no other fruits that exist. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) So when you get a charcuterie board from me, you're going to get your star fruit. Okay. You're going to get bar, uh, or what's in season. So your star fruit, if it's in season, your um, yellow dragon fruit, Mm. your Barbados cherries, you're going to get figs, you're going to get jujubes because it's not just candy. Okay. Um, You'll get watermelon radishes, uh, black radishes. You'll get vegan cheese that I'll put up against the regular cheeses mm. any day. And nobody tears your bathroom up. I love um, it. I love it. You'll get the the mini carriage. You'll get a beet hummus, a okay. spirulina hummus, which those are superfoods. So what's the, I, I'm actually on, on this is on a so like say I I want to do an event for a hundred people. What's your price on that? 
to feed a hundred people with the board with the uh, gratuity board? Because I know a couple people right now. Oh, that would be depending on what we sit down and what you want on there. Okay. So okay. All right. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna send some people your way. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I I I be knowing a lot of people that be trying to do business this and that. So we be we be asking for stuff like like I don't want to spend too much. You know I want to feed them, but I don't you know what I'm <laughs> <Nah>, people be. <laughs> uh, all right. So all right. There's another. There's an. I'm gonna say an acronym. All right. The acronym. When I say this acronym, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna say the word in the acronym. And then you tell me what do it mean to you. Okay. DNA. The D stands for you are designed. The N is to notice. And the A is your assignment. What do that mean to you? <laughs> so, like I said, I had no plans on doing this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's gotten, well, it started off at that point. But it's to mm -hmm. the point now that... Um, me making your favorites and veganizing them and getting them really similar. I love that. To it, like I have a um, ahi tuna-ish dish. Okay. Which is made out of watermelon. A tuna dish made out of watermelon. Okay. So I use it for my poke bowls and for um, hors d'oeuvres and for stuff okay. like that. Okay. I have a vegan ceviche, which some of so my following right now is the vegan curious, of course. Um, flexitarians, mm. uh, more than the vegans itself. So um, I've had people swear up and down that it was fish. Mm. I did a Rasta pasta for a retreat. Gotcha. There was no cheese in it. But if you check some of the reels that's on my thing, you'll see the two girls talking about they can't believe that there's <laughs> no cheese in it. Um, so it's was in my DNA, so you it. say, to create these dishes, yes. not knowing it, but now I do. Mm, that's good. All right, the next word is hope. Hopes, in my opinion, stands for help other people excel. Mm -hmm. So what's your mindset about hope? My mindset as far as hope would be to finally reach some people that look like me and mm. have to make some dietary changes. Okay. Um, we need to stop making the pharmaceutical companies rich. <laughs> yeah, they're getting rich off of us. And I was talking to a um, black doctor about a month ago in an event. Okay. And she said that she had a patient walk through her door that was on every day. Mm. Probably wasn't supposed to be on. I know she wasn't supposed She was taking <laughs> 98 pills a day. Woo! Ooh, Lord. And they said that they were trying to take one pill away from her mm. and gradually wean her off of some of the stuff because it's enough side effects when you're taking one or two pills. But 90? So the lady called and called the doctor's office and kept saying that she could feel that she didn't have pill 98. Dang. So I want us to be able to... Um, enjoy the future generations to be mm. able to pass the information down to be able to know our different relatives and to have a good time but not have to take the risk of um congestive heart failure That's um, crazy high blood pressure gout cholesterol diabetes mm. those type of things and you know i another thing too is why since i, I got the blood pressure pills maybe two years ago mm -hmm. but it was because of what I started entering into my body. And I think that's so important that we tend to forget, like, man, this we got one temple, man. Take care of it. Work it out. You know what I'm saying? What are you feeding it? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's it's very important that you guard, you know, the things that we eat because a lot of times it's like, man, I just need to eat something. But it's like if some of that stuff you don't need to be eating. Pause. I'm going to talk about y'all beloved <laughs> <laughs> beloved fast food restaurant. Come on. I'm on the go. Decide I'm going to stop. Okay. Grab some fries. I thought I was going to grab some fries. Mm. From the blessed Chick-fil-A. The Chick-fil-A. Everybody love it. I said, may I get an order of fries with no salt? Mm. Do you know what I was told? I cannot sell you any fries without putting salt on them. Mm. 
So I'm like, am I being punk? Like I'm looking at, I'm looking, at this point, I'm having a stare down with yes, the girls behind yes. the counter. Like, I want you to go cook the fries and not put no salt on it. It's enough salt yes. if you flip over the back of the bag on the fries. Just don't put no additional salt oh on my, my fries. Oh my God. So I'm actually literally at a standoff in Chick-fil-A because this against their policy oh, to man. not put salt on the fries. So, so I, I was like, so you just going to increase the fact of people getting high blood pressure because those little packets of salts is high in sodium. They don't care. The fries is already, but you're going to tell me I got to get <laughs> You got to get it. Oh, you got to get out. <laughs> they, they wouldn't sell them. That's crazy. You know, and I just think like... American, because I was looking at a documentary the other day. It was saying like our food versus other country food. You know what I'm saying? And then, oh, yeah. and then now they're starting to sell like this uh this uh, laser printed meat. What is that? What are we eating? I don't know what we eating. What is that? I'm trying to figure it. I'm like, you, you better eat grass. <laughs> if if the cows, if the animals are eating the grass and surviving. I need to be in that grass too. Well, here's a, the other gory secret that you probably don't want to know. Um, butchers. Mm. When they butcher meat and there's tumors mm. and different things, they just cut it away mm. and give it to you. But if you have cancer or other, it's still running through your bloodstream. Got you. So you're still getting that animal of whatever was going on with that animal it's still running through their bloodstream and you're still taking it in. But there is a um, documentary that's coming out on November I'm gonna be, 7th. I'm going to be watching it. November 11th. And um, Badass Vegan directed it. I saw it on his uh, web, on his Instagram page mm -hmm. with a lot of different celebrities that's going to speak to different things as far as eating. But it's called They're Trying to Kill Us. Mm. I think they're only dropping it for seven days, so I'm gonna be on it. I need to know when, cause I'm gonna be November 11th. Where? Uh, I'll pay for it. Online. Yeah, I'll send you the link. Yeah, I'll pay for it. I, 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 I need to see. You know, one I like. I this is the thing. People is so retarded. When I say retarded, and I don't care, I tell my audience the reason why they be retarded because it's like we so conditioned and we stubborn. So when you condition and you stubborn. It creates you making bad decisions and bad habits. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, this is the way it is. I'm like, it don't have to be like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Just like I meet a lot of business owners say, well, this is how business go. But I'm like, that's how business used to be. The play can be we ran another way. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Get outside that comfort zone of, of having being stubborn and stuck in a way. And that's why a lot of people don't grow because they so stuck in like, like, oh, this is how I run my business and this is how I make money. I'm like, bro, you stuck. This 2023, bro. You running plays that was ran 1999. I'm 43, so I didn't see it. I'm like, man, man, get out of here with that. So I'm trying to involve with the times on everything in life. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, I got another word, poor. There's an acronym, passing over opportunity repeatedly. What's your mindset on that? As an entrepreneur. Depending on the opportunity. Mm, that's true. So um, some opportunities that I've passed on is because I've done my research. Come on. Like a lot of markets, they'll call you and they'll reach out to you. And if it's feasible or if I can go see your market before, mm. I'm going to go see your market before and see what's going on. I got you. Um, but then there's some other opportunities that I would have loved to do, but because of the cost, mm. I've passed them over because I'm not to the stage gotcha. where I've been able to take that risk and pay the upfront cost. Mm. Um, so on both ends, yeah. So, all right. So we're looking at this is let's let's look let's step outside the frame of your business. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of times when, when we inside the frame, living our life, we can't see. Mm -hmm. So let's step outside the frame. So you're looking at your brand, and 
this is your brand and all the different functions of your brand that can help people. Right. Where is your van? Where is your brand? Where you say you pivot a lot, but where is the parts that you can stay that can stay strong and some of the parts you can get rid of? Because this is a question I like to ask entrepreneurs because a lot of times, you know, when we run it, like me, I'm, I'm making videos, I'm over here, I'm at this event, I'm at that, I'm running. And it's like, sometimes I say, stop. Okay. In the last three months, how many customers have I closed? How many, what have I done wrong? What can I change up? Like, I, I try to step outside the frame because we running. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what are some things that, because every, to me, your no become more valuable than your yeses when you know your value. Mm -hmm. So, it's some things that, that you have done, you're like, man, I, I might have to get rid of that because it's not it's not easing you right now. You know what I'm saying? So one of the things that I would really like to get rid of is the pop-ups. Okay. But sometimes the pop-ups fill in the gaps. I got you. But my goal is to get rid of the pop-ups. I started doing the pop-ups to get the brand out there. Okay. But now it's to the point that um, the brand is recognizable. Mm, that's good. Um, I sat down in the meeting and I... Uh, the guy was like, oh, yeah, I've seen your brand. Mm. I was talking to somebody else, and they was like, oh, I've seen your reel about the roster. I you know, it's different it. things like it. that. Or yes. I can have people, you know, just yell across whether I'm branded or not. Because so, I think the key is, and I tell people, the C, the C, and the C. So the C is the content, all right, creates the conver conversation mm -hmm. that helps the collaboration. Yeah. So the main thing that, um, I am looking for is the people that are really concerned mm. about their health. Okay. And I don't know if it's enough people that I've been around okay. to support the business that's concerned mm. and see the value in fruits and veggies. So, and so is, is the food truck something that you want to do or is not in your future? So, <laughs> here you go. Uh oh. So, food truck. Equates to me as manual labor. Okay. Okay. Hey, I and like it. I like being feminine. Mm. And I've seen some of the female entrepreneurs that got a food well, truck. They got food trucks and they're out there struggling to try to change tires or they're Stuff. trying to, you know, drag those big heavy propane tanks and I'm hook with them you. up and um that ain't your play. And that's and and, and, and be you know, I had um Misty. Bur Burl, yeah, or? I'm familiar. Yeah, yeah. So she's on my podcast. Mm -hmm. No food, food truck lady. I I love it. I I learned a lot from her that day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's it's not for the week. It's not for the week. She explained it and she broke it down. I was like, whoa, it's it's a lot going on. Um, and I like you know it be hot in Texas. <laughs> Too. And you can't hold air in the food trucks because you steady opening the window even if you do Man. have air conditioning and then you cooking on top of that. So, so you more you more gonna stick to like the catering and the um the experience, the catering. Because I like so, the experience part. Let's talk about the experience part. So, it's like you get to hang out with me for two hundred twenty dollars. Well, get... I've also done some other experience. Okay, events. go hey, so go ahead. Let's talk about those. Okay. So the first experience event that I hosted, I did it with KG Smooth from one hundred two point one. Okay, I know and that we is. did a vegan wine down. So we supported another black business and had it at the Museum for Black Girls over in... Uh, oh, yeah. I've seen that museum. I wanted to take my nieces over there, but yeah. And we had um, different samples of the food that I would put on the charcuterie board. Okay. Um, you got a wine tasting with him. You mm -hmm. got the whole vibe of the museum okay. and the content that they had to take the pictures and I to celebrate it. being a black woman. They even had like the setup where when you used to get your hair pressed in the oh, kitchen kind of set up and stuff like that. Um, so that was a good event. We also have a partnership with iCryo, the West University location. I like iCryo. With, you met Jared at mm -hmm. the, uh, mm -hmm. Melon and Mines. Yes. So we've done um, food with me, wine tasting with him. The last time we added three vendors. So we had a okay. vegan nail polish vendor called Harmon Polish. Okay. So there's no toxins in the nail polish, mm. which is important for everyone, but it's really important for those that are on oxygen. Yes. Those that have cancer and stuff of that sort to mm. make sure that they're not putting any other toxins. We had Joy Soulful. She has affirmations. She did the singing. Yeah. Yeah. I like Joy. So she 
made them bowls sing the whole time. <laughs> and then we had a uh, 77 stash with the uh, mm. uh, sea moss juices. So, um, to put I those, want to try them. Where they located at? They're I want... usually at uh, Montrose Market on the weekend. Okay, yeah, I want to. I want. I want to try them because I. Uh, we go to. Uh, uh, I can't think of the name. Press. Okay. Yeah. I, so. I like um, he is better. He has a. Oh yeah. So that's why I told my wife. I said, let's let's go. Let's. I want. I want to. I'm. I'm about to go check him. Yeah, out. I tried them and uh, Alkafine. They have the teas. They have the changa, changa okay. tea that you got. Where they be? They're at, um, you know where Green Seed is and Possessions Market is? Right oh, on this. Go to that okay. little market okay. that's there. Okay. Um, so right now I am in the process of planning a wellness event. Okay. So, so, and so full. So um, I have met one of the baddest pedicures. Come on. Black male. Come on. But the only thing is the black males that talk, I talked to about the event, they <laughs> acting funny because they don't want another mm. man touching their feet. But whatever. That's whatever. For another. Um, when I say that that was the best pedicure Come ever on. and it was waterless, the pedicure was like, it was so good <laughs> that my feet were sliding in my shoes because I felt like <laughs> my feet were smaller. I love it. I so, love it. Um, then we'll have joy um, to do the bows and affirmations. I'll be feeding your soul. We'll have different, vent, you know, wellness vendors mm. there. The space that I went to go look at, that's what I'm waiting on. But it was so zen mm. um, to even get that done. So, uh, yeah, because you know my boy Chris, too. Chris. Shoot your shot. Oh, yeah. That's my guy. So, save uh, the date November 26th. November 26th. From 2 to 6, reserve that time. We're going to have a limited amount that can take um, on the services. Okay. You can come shop with the vendors without having a ticket. I got you. But to get those special services. You need that ticket. You need that ticket. How much ticket. tickets? As soon as the venue person oh, okay. gets back to Let me, me then I'll know. Um, but it's all about the wellness and the self-care. Um, had a conversation the other day that most People that look like us think that self care <laughs> is um, smoking cigars, yes. drinking, yes. Kids, yes. and getting their feet done, and yes. going to buy a luxury brand purse, but Come on. and they nails done with all those toxic fumes floating around. Oh. Where they go get their nails done. Tell so, the truth. Tell the truth. Um, Want to get some exposure that there are other avenues to really, for real, feel like mm. you've taken some time to revitalize. And I think that's I think that's important is take that time, you know. Like me and my wife, we've been hustling, and bustling with this gala. We like, man, look, as soon as this gala over with, we are gonna take a week, we are gonna breathe, we are gonna out of here, we are gonna take a road trip, we out. Let's just breathe for a second, cause it's been like a hustle. I am and going this studio, that studio over here. Hey man, come to the gala. Hey man, all right, how you buy a ticket? It's like, and it's been a whole four four and a half month process. Right. Working, working. Just keep hitting and pounding the pavement. And um and I I'm learning something about, about a lot of people in Houston. We we move different than Atlanta. And I, the reason why we move different is we not as collabor collaborative as people in Atlanta is. So like I went to events in Atlanta. I they will post if one person posts, it'll be like ten at one time. They events be signed out in three days. Mm -hmm. Houston, it's kinda like I don't really know you. Uh, what you talking about? Hey, I don't know, bro. What what you saying? You know what I'm saying? So or they'll be waiting till the last minute. And uh speaking of that, and speaking of health, yes, and speaking of the holidays, yes. I was supposed to do a soul food vegan cooking class okay. this past Saturday. Now the lady that wanted me to do it mm -hmm. said that she had she has a ladies group, a women's group. Gotcha. That four to five of the ladies and their husbands have been told by their physician that they need to take on a plant-based diet, which is okay. rare because this most of them just try to fill you with pills. I got you. And nobody signed up. Mm, that's what I'm saying. Uh, we were going to veganize those favorites, the mm. greens, the sweet potatoes, the mac and cheese, the, that's you know, saying. the potato, you know, those type of things, break them up in teams of two, get that done. Um, See, but I think Houston Houston got a problem though. This this is the problem though, because I'm looking around Houston. I'm like, man, like I, I, 
I'd been to every black podcast studio in Houston. Okay. I mean, I've been there knocking on the door, talking to them. And some people, I'm going to sign up. They'd be like, uh, even though the event about to be sold out, but I'm just saying, yeah. at the end of the day, it's like, Aaron, I don't know who you are. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like... Or they know who you are. They know who you are. <laughs> just stop, with the, stop with the shenanigans. Because one thing about shenanigans, she going to shenan again. Yeah. And then what I'm saying, yeah. you know, so me and my wife, I was like, I told my wife, I said, okay, this is the first year I was doing uh, a podcast gala slash entrepreneurs and people in the building. I said, but it's going to be better next year because we'll be able to have video, pictures, people can actually see what was going on. And I think in this kind of like... And then I'm... I'm I interviewed over 100 people this year on my podcast. So right. I'm still like, still seeing what people mind at, what they're doing, yeah. how it's shaking, stuff like that. But I'm I'm so I'm so excited, man, just to see like Houston and like where it's going and, and how we all can collaborate. So this is part of the time. I'm going to throw the alley hoop to you and any questions you want to ask me. Because I don't like to never get off the podcast without letting people ask me questions. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Has there ever been a podcast that you recorded that never got aired? Never. Okay. Always, I always release. And I I do have people that will want me to cut stuff off because something that they said. Mm -hmm. But me personally, I, I'm always being myself. So I'm never, my wife, my wife said, you, you too real for people. Like I'm authentic. Like, yeah. you know, I curse on my podcast. I do, you know, but. I, people would say, hey, man, can you um take this no, part I out? just wondered if it was just like somebody that was just so weird. You was like, uh, nah. Go air no, air because air I air really air. I really don't I really don't invite too many people that I don't have a good vibe with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll see you, be like, okay. Then before I invite you, though, I've already been stalking your social media. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm stalking people's social media. Like, let me see what they're talking about. Okay, they, they, okay, they good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have had people reach out and say, hey, man, I'm coming to your podcast. No, sir. No, ma'am. Have a good day. You know what I'm saying? I turn them down because I can kind of see like, oh, no, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? You got to be careful. Yeah, you know, you do. That's why I asked. Was it ever one that you was just like, oh. No, I had no, not, I haven't. Nobody never sat in the seat and I didn't release it. Mm -hmm. But people have reached Ask out and I said, not interested. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, any, any more questions you want to ask? So when did you know that this was your jam? <laughs> Man, me and my wife started in 2018. Okay. Um, we was at our house. We was just grinding. And um, the name of our first podcast was called Re Relationship Therapist. We ended up looking it up. We're like, damn, too many people got that name. So my wife said, I'm going to pray about it. And then she, and then she, maybe about six weeks later, she said, God gave me the name. I was like, what's the name? What's the name? I need to know. One Marriage, Two Hustlers. And so I was like, okay, he gave it to you. Copyright. LLC, let's go. Mm -hmm. Don't play with it because people, gonna, they see they're going to try to steal it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So then 2018, and then in 2020, um, we, was at our, we was at our house. We was inviting people to our house. And people were like, hey, man, let me rent your house out for the, let me do a podcast. Me, I said, what's up? Let's get it. I, but my wife said. Y'all have children? Mm -mm. Even okay. Even though she like. No, I'm just like. My wife just, like. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, now you can me some so I said, let's get the studio space. And so that's what we did. Now we got podcasters coming in here. We got, I mean, I, we changed the room out to their liking. You okay. know what I'm saying? Whatever they want to do, we just they bring their own little props or whatever. But we love it, man. So I love podcasting. I'm also an author of a book. I'm working on two more other books. Mm -hmm. This is the uh first book I ever wrote. Right now is your time. Know your passion, understand your purpose, pursue your dreams. Um and I just love helping people. What made me start the name Why Now Is Your Time? I started the name back in 1999. 1999. <laughs> but nobody knew about the name until like 2013. Because I was like, man, you know, I don't know. I, I, and, I just, and then I just, I just built it on three principles, life, brand, legacy. I think everybody should design the life they want, create their brand, and leave their legacy. Right. And 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 from there, I just build the brand, the merch, the products, the courses, and then we just get money. You know what I'm saying? And this is the mindset. I think you ever thought about a course yet? 
I have been thinking about a course, and I actually um, am working on getting my uh, cookbook out. So okay, that's good. That's good because as much products, I tell people as an entrepreneur, what are you doing today that can that you can leave your legacy behind? Because we only here for a short time. Yep. So like all these podcasts would be archived. And people be like, oh, I remember this dude. Or, you know, I could tell my nieces and all them, hey, man, push the Why Not Your Time brand. My wife got her brand, which is called Allow Yourself Grace. And then I have Why Not Your Time. Then we have our brand together. So I think it's important to leave a legacy, something that can live beyond you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of times we we get caught up in the now and... We don't understand, like, man, leave something behind so people can remember you by. That's what's so important. Yeah. And I looked at the example that um, Miyoko, which is a vegan cheese brand. Mm. Uh, well, during the, uh, right before the uh, Women in Vegan Conference, okay. her company took it from her. Wow. Vegan. But you could tell by the way that she responded while she was on the panel. She was like, oh, yeah, when I get off, I'm going to Italy. And then I'm going to work on my YouTube channel. Like, okay, so I took that ass. Even though they took it, they paid you out. That's it. You got enough money to, That's it. if this YouTube thing don't work out, That's it. you're going to be okay. And you're on your way to That's Italy. The, like, it's a mindset, man. I tell people that's what's important. So when people, so I'm actually, I, I got two more questions, actually. It just popped in my head. <laughs> what do you want people to remember you by? I want them to remember me by uh, one, the difference that I made. Okay. Um, with trying to get the education out. Mm, and that's good. With the experience that they had with the dishes or the events I that I've planned and those type of things. Mm. Um, otherwise, just the impact that I've had on their life, whether it be personality that. or the discussions that we've had, mm -hmm. the transparency, yes. the, you know, being authentic and not really, you know, not sugarcoating and not being like, oh, yeah, you know, just yeah. being my authentic. The fluff. Mm -hmm. And I told my wife, I said, man, this year we went to a lot of events. I'm like, man, I, I went to the, all these events and I ain't learning much. The, okay, that's a that's a good <laughs> pivot point. So with going... To these events mm. and with meeting all the folks that you meet yes are you starting to feel like burnt out on the events or how do you keep pushing forward on it i'm starting to feel unlearned so let me explain what unlearned mean to me okay i'm feeling like i'm going to events and i already know the information mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's like my wife and she always said next year we're going to all the white people event it's going to cost us about twenty thousand, but it's going to be worth it you know what i'm saying but I'm I'm feeling like I'm starting to see the same people. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's not how I want to move, though. So I want to kind of move into like, like, like I brought all these people on this podcast this year. You'll see someone with the podcast, Kayla. But I'm like, next year, how do I rethink my strategy with my, with a whole new audience? I still got my audience, but like whole new players in the game. Mm -hmm. I would have people say, man, I'll come back on your podcast. I'm, no, 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 no. One time, one time, one time. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm really just trying to trying to figure out like, because this is a whole new breed of people that I'll be looking at. And so I'm like, okay, I need, my wife said, okay, my wife said, we wrote down like 10 different events for 2024 we want to go to. These events, all this tax write off of, but anyways, for me. These events are gonna be about twenty to thirty thousand dollars to get there. That's the flight. That's getting to the event. Yeah, all that stuff. So I want to. I want to get there, and I want to learn. But I just feel like, like you, I feel a little burnt out. But I enjoy diversing with people, though. Mm -hmm. I, I do. But it's like I go down. Like, I've seen this person. I just. I already kind of know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's. Um, I've been mixing it up. So I've been okay. to the. Black events, I've been to the white events, yes, I've been to Hispanic up. events, yes. I've been to the African events, I've been to the to the this. Yes. To this. Um, like I said, it's just the uh, finding my tribe events. Like your tribe events, the um kind of burnt out on the 
oh, I can never stop eating meat. Oh, oh I yeah. I had people like, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. die for, for eating meat. Or oh, I'll of course. For very, yeah, you, you literally are. You're or, dying every day. Um, <laughs> Quicker than you're supposed to. <laughs> you know, um, it's just crazy. Like, even with the randomness of, you know, people think that they're doing something by social media. Mm-hmm. Like everybody's pushing social media, social media, social. You got to have your social media, social media, yeah, social but... media. So um, about a week ago, I saw this guy. He was in scrubs. Mm. And I was like, oh, I need pharmaceuticals. They buy healthy food for mm. doctor's offices and stuff like that. When they... So I was like, hello, sir. Are you, are you pharmaceutical rep? He ended up being a home health care person. But, okay. you know, still, like. That was my thing. Mm. So, hey, you got Instagram? That's where I shine it. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, I don't have it on this phone. And I was like, bullshit. Like, like the boy of bullshit. 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 <laughs> I said, <like>, okay. <laughs> I went, sat down, went on about my business. Next thing I know, I really love what you're doing. And I want to talk to you further. Mm. I thought you didn't have social media. I said, oh, you Googled me, huh? You Googled yes, me. I'm, I'm Googleable. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I read your story. Mm, and I was I like, love it. oh, okay. So he was like, I just want to, you know, can I get you something to drink? I was like, a topo. I don't really drink. Mm. I was like, well, let's, uh, you don't really have nothing you need. <laughs> well, let me buy you lunch tomorrow. Or let me do it. You know, I love like it. that. So since then, He's been eating plant based for like mm. the last week of trying to I make love the difference it. to try to um, do some of the things like with the weight loss mm. and maybe an early person like in his 30s we got out or you of know course. that kind of stuff like let me change this up to get it done. Mm-hmm. But also with that social media for the people that aren't on social media, you need to have something out there where they can find you outside. Yeah. Of that. So this is my thing about social media. I tell people. Social media is great, but I need people to go to my website more than anything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to get people to subscribe and I like to nurture them and let them know, hey, man, this is some things you need. Like me, I'm a, a real social media person when it comes to like marketing, videos. I mean, videos is my passion. That's my baby. I love videos. So, um, but I, I really try to navigate people and be like, man, do you got a website? You know, and if you do have a website, I meet a lot of entrepreneurs. They got websites, just pictures. I'm like, bro, what a video. And where you at on there? So what do you feel like is your best marketing strategy? My best marketing strategy is all right, authentically be yourself and master the reels, master just the the whole, like, as much as you out there, like, figure, like for you. All right, I'm going to be you for a second. Hey man, there's there's three things you need to know about being vegan. Hey, here's the secrets about being vegan. Like I'll be doing videos like that. You know what I'm saying? Or some of you guys don't want to get rid of that meat, but this is why you should. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll be doing reels constantly on different things of that of that nature because it's gonna allow people to see and like okay because this is the thing people post one time. And then you're trying to sell something, and then you don't post back again three three weeks later, and then you're trying to sell. So that's your, it's, it's too cold. People want to be warmed up to you. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're giving out free game and you directing them to the offer, mm-hmm. that's where it's at. Okay. So when other people say, hey, man, I want to know about podcasting. Great. Why well, now is your time for a slash podcast. Okay, I got three things. I got an ebook, $47. I got a course, two ninety seven, or you can work with me one on one for twenty five hundred dollars for a year. Ready? It's already there. You know what I'm saying? So you, I get some people might buy the ebook and be like, "Dang, ebook was good, man, but damn, I need I, you got more." I, said, I got a course. It's five hours and forty eight minutes with sixty seven downloadable PDFs. I need that. Okay. Take the. So you gotta have. You know what I'm saying? So you, is is making sure you have something to sell them. Because so many people on social media don't have nothing to sell. It's like, bro, you just sis, bro, sis, you just on social media doing what? You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to bring you to my house, which is my dot com name. You know what I'm saying? I'm just visiting. I'm just passing by waving at y'all on social media. But if you want to follow me, I'm going to take you to a place okay. that can get you some money. So it's just the mindset. Um, last question. 
You got a tombstone this big, this high. You only could put three things in there so for people to remember you by. What are, what is it? One of them got to be that cookbook. Okay. We'll put the cookbook in there. Yeah, it's only this big. Like that. You can put three things in there. We're going to put it in the ground and pull it up a thousand years later. When they open it up, this is what they remember you by. This is good. It's a, it's a hard one. My bio. Okay. Okay. To, to like a like a like a uh, a letter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or the bio or um, what's the other word I'm looking for? Bib the bibliography. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay. Um. And one more thing you got you got that cookbook and that bio in there. So one of my bucket list things to do. Okay. Okay. Is an open mic about the crazy ass things that I hear um, about being vegan. That's so good. to put that video. Mm, I like that. Listen, man, I appreciate you driving. I know you probably drive far. This is north side of Houston now. I already know. <laughs> My wife had a guest last night. She drove way deep. She she was like traffic hour and 20 something minutes. But she came and I told her last night, I was like, appreciate you coming. You know, Where did she come from? I think she came from back way, Foja area or somewhere. Oh, there. yeah, that's a... Back over there somewhere. Man, Foja's so far that they sell clothes <laughs> in the grocery store in the Kroger. <laughs> no, legit. No, that's where my wife from. She yeah. from there. I know. So I know. I, I, we go there uh, at least every other weekend. We go see her grandparents. So it's a little hike. Yeah, they sell clothes in the grocery <laughs> store. That's how far of a hike it is. Yeah, so we, like I said, man, um, listen. If y'all not following her, please, as she was talking, you will see it popping up. Go follow her. Ask her questions and get off that bad diet. Yeah. Man, as I always tell you guys, keep watching me like you watch TV. You're going to watch your income grow and your mindset will change. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.